Hey everybody, this is Modesta Maigan Buguni from Purpose and Excellence. A random end of the week message. This is for you women heirs out there. So in my coaching sessions, I usually have this 10 secrets to success that I share with students, participants, and I thought this is so relevant to what we want to do in 2019. You see, I've had my kids kind of calling me to my word in many different situations and I'm just thinking this is just the motivation for me to live the message, for me to walk the talk. So number one success, secret to success is know your why. Know your why basically is what is your reason for wanting to get ahead? What is your reason for wanting to improve yourself? What is your reason for wanting 2019 to be different from all the years you've had? What is your why? So for those who know me, my why really has been Africa. For the longest time, I've wanted to see Africa transform by purpose-driven servant leaders that drive market results with excellence. So it's always been macro. It's the continent, it's my country, Tanzania. And increasingly so, you know, after getting married, having children, I am noticing how my husband and children are becoming my why as well. Usually people start off with their families and then, you know, all of a sudden they get this, there is greater than just me and mine. I went the other way. So I had these incidences with my children. One of them is, so I posted this video of my daughter, you know, doing a little, uh, this is purpose and like, since my name is Judah Riss and Bogoni, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's like, oh, cute, oh, wow. Well, the thing is they watch me a lot. You guys know I've been doing this since the 1st of January, so they watch these recordings quite a bit. Matter of fact, praise to them. They can sit quietly in a room. These are toddlers, by the way, when I'm doing the recording for an entire hour. Anyway, point is, I was moving around the kitchen yesterday and Jude, the very one you saw, she's um, quite the character, touched my stomach. And I said, what? She goes, do you have a baby in there? I'm like, no, not yet. I'm, I'm just kind of big. She's like, you're big, but you've been exercising. You don't exercise anymore, do you? And, you know, so they went off in their little toddler speak. But that just made me think, you know, exercising, one of the things that I, you know, say I'm doing and I'll do consistently. And here's this little girl calling me to my word, like, did you say you're gonna be exercising? We really thought, cause they want a little brother. We really thought, you know, and we already have a name. So-and-so is in there. No guys, I'm not expecting, so don't even twist this message. But then I just thought, you know what? First of all, this girl is doing a script that's exactly like what I do. And then now they're asking me like, didn't you say you'll be working out? And I've had different incidences of them speaking back Oh, here she is. We will, we will go, we're going soon. Can you wait for a little bit while mommy finishes a recording? Thank you, you see? <laughs> and so here are they, just speaking back what I have been saying to them. You know, it, it would be lovely if kids could just do what you say, even if you're being hypocritical and not what you do, but they do what you do. And so, and they're sounding back what I have said. So going back to your why, why do you want to improve yourself? Why do you think, okay, I've wallowed in self-pity enough, I've been confused long enough, I know the transition has been dramatic or it's been a very long time since I last did anything, but I am here now and my why is, so you fill in the blanks. What is your why for wanting to make 2019 a year like no other? What is your why for wanting to improve yourself no matter what? I'll give you another incident this morning. So I woke up really early because I consult both with Africa and in the US. And so you understand Africa is many, many hours ahead of the US. I keep all kinds of hours. Like I, I'm awake or asleep or not really asleep all the time. I'm always up or I can easily be woken up. So I was up working. Hey Grace, welcome. So I was up working um, early and then after a while, I just thought, I'm really tired. So I got my kids up, you know, take a shower and everything. They, you know, learning to just do it by themselves. And I asked my husband if he could take over, um, you know, to get them ready, cause I needed to rest a little bit. And so Jude, can you stop r rustling things? Cause it can be heard in the recording. Thank you, mama, don't touch anything. This is the reality of being a mother. 
And so anyway, you know, I asked him to take over and he's like, yeah, sure. And you know, the man slept like at two o'clock. He was also working on some things. And then I just closed my eyes for a little bit and just thought, Modesta, you need to get up, do what you need to do by your family, then take your time to rest. I literally spoke to myself, Modesta, get up, your family needs you. And I got up. And I went and the little one, Jude, was already downstairs and Jedediah was still upstairs and she needed help. And I came downstairs and I you know, wanted to make sure everything was okay and until you know, one of them was taken to school. You know, my husband took her to the bus and I was good. But just the fact that sometimes knowing your why, you need to override your emotions, override tiredness, override me. I want something for me. Jude, you're deliberately doing that. Please don't make those noises because it's coming out in the recording. Don't do that, mama. We're going to go, okay? Okay, my mama. Asante. She's rustling and making noise because I said I'd take her somewhere, keeping my word. Jude, I know you're obedient and I'm grateful. Are you obedient, mama? Thank you. Thank you so much for not making noise with the keys because mommy's being, he's going to be done now. Okay. So there it is. Know your why. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to improve yourself? And then make sure that why drives everything. So I said I wasn't, you know, I said I'd be working out. I did. And my kids called me out on that. Best believe I was up working out today. And because they were still asleep, when they woke up, I told them that mama was working out today. <laughs> and also, you know, just everything else that I'm doing, I'm more, I'm, I realize that they're watching. I realize that if there's any legacy that I want them to have, this Africa that I want my kids to grow up in, it'll only be built if I can be an example in my household because nothing will speak to them stronger than them seeing their mother being a woman heir that hits the ground running, regardless of the challenges that she's faced. So I thought to share that with you and I'll be sharing the rest of them. This is number one of 10. Know your why. Why do you want to be better? Why do you want to get over, you know, past mistakes, places where you've fallen, um, you know, just being rusty and thinking I'm just not relevant anymore. What is your why? It'll keep getting you up no matter what you feel like doing against it. Be for you. 2019, purpose to excel. And we've got Jews little chimes and my earrings chiming hey it's christmas until next time this is modesta mahiga Muguni from purpose and license by the way follow us youtube facebook instagram twitter linkedin purpose and excellence africa we have plenty of resources to have you hit the ground running in 2019 judas had it let me get off this recording take care <laughs>